Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Aquaponics YouTube. Jacob? Hello. How you doing? Very good. Great. So it looks like uh, we've got a lot of changes and it looks a lot different than it did before. Um, as you can see, we basically got rid of the fish tank. It wasn't working, it's too small, there's too many problems. Um, we, uh, the landlord didn't like it. What's that? I said the landlord didn't like it. Yeah, the landlord didn't like it, so we had to get rid of it. So the new system actually worked out for the better. The better. Um, it's the same, same thing, uh, flood and drain. Siphons, uh, siphons a little bit larger. Um, let's see if we can get a better. Has it been that long since we've done a video? It has been that long since we've wow. done a video. Yeah. There's the old one. <laughs> yeah, there's our old, uh, there's our old aquaponics. Gosh, that, that thing was crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're using the um, what do they call this stuff? Uh, the hydrotone. Hydrotone. It's like clay pebbles or something. Yep. Um, comes with a lot of good nutrients in it as well. And as you can see, we've got our lettuce growing. Um, we've got some big, big leaves going on there. So they're they're pretty happy in the system. Look at that one. Look how big that one is. Yeah, he is pretty large. A side angle of that. Yeah. Man, so these guys are going really good, and this is all lettuce. Do you remember what kind of lettuce this is? There's a lot of different types. Uh, the, you know what? I didn't label them all. We labeled them over here when we were making them seedlings, and then I didn't label them when I moved them over, so I don't know exactly what they all are. But there's some oak leaf in here somewhere. I think most of it, though, is. Uh, let me pull out my list here. I think most of it is the Argula ricotta, I think is how you say that. Do you know how to say that, Nathan? That one right there. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember how to pronounce that, but... That sprouts a lot faster than everything else, so uh, that was what was sprouted earliest, so I planted a lot of that over here, and then this was kind of, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And I think there's some oak leaf and some mesculine mix and things like that in there. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, as you can see, wow, that red really looks bad on the camera, uh, but, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> um, as you can see, our seedlings are, um, are all sprouted. I think these are all lettuces as well. These are all lettuces. These are bananas. There are uh, bananas right there. But they haven't sprouted yet. This is actually dried out quite a bit, so I'm going to water it a little bit later, but this is all herbs. This is all lettuce, except for that one is dill, and this is all peppers, which also dried out, and I watered them a little bit earlier, so they're still they're starting to perk up a little bit. But uh, I want to transplant these actually to a deeper dish, and then actually we have here in our NFT system uh, some lettuce. Yeah, wow, it's doing that. pretty well. It's got a nice root development, but we decided we're not going to use this NFT system anyways. Uh, maybe we'll try to do one of the peppers or something in there. But uh, it's just, it's not exactly what we want for this area just because it gets, it gets too warm and it gets too cold in Virginia. It's not like a constant good temperature, so we're, we're not going to use it. But it was fun to set up. We're going to, I mean, we're going to plant stuff in it for now just because it's inside. It doesn't matter and it's fun. But uh, we're not going to go with NFT. We're going to go with floating wraps, which I think is a good segue to what we've been doing in the garage. Yeah, and let's, uh, let's go show them. Yeah. I guess our big system. Go ahead and open that door so it turns off so there's no noise. Yeah, that it's kind of loud. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Wow. This is what I put together this weekend. Uh, we actually got this about two weeks ago. Uh, then uh, last week Nathan uh, was here when we got inspected by uh, our now good friend uh, Chad. I think. Yeah, it was Chad. Yeah. <laughs> And, Shout out uh, to Chad. Yeah, he, uh, he inspected it and said that it's going to be fine for us to grow tilapia in this. This is a 300 gallon tank. And then up, up here is our floating wrap system. And you can see these each have 16 holes, so we have 64 total holes. And uh, what's underneath it is just the nutrient water, the nutrient rich water. You put the plants in these holes, and you grow about 16 for each one. The water goes from the big tank here. It goes up this big black tube, up into our sump tank, which is way up high there. And that flows down, 
that tube there and comes and out down that void, yeah. Yeah, and then comes out right here. Yep. And then goes into each one of these floating wraps. Bits. And this is all going to be lettuce when it's done. But yep. what's cool about this is this 300 gallon tank, we have four here, we have four floating wrap systems now. We're going to put some fingerlings in the tank, but the tank's big enough that we can have quite a few fish in it. Maybe, I think we can actually have about 200. I don't think we're going to go quite that far just because. I think taking care of that many fish is going to be a little time consuming, but with the amount of fish that I think we're going to end up having, we can actually have 16 of these going here once the fish start growing and the water starts So, growing. you mean 16 of these entire things? Yes. Wow, that's quite a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah. and we're, I designed it so that you can't really tell here because it's shelf occupied by workspace, but it's designed so that we can have two here, and then these shelves are real cheap, so we'll just put another shelf up and do two more, or actually yeah, we'll, be two, we'll do another shelf and it'll be uh, eight more, or no. I think I can do four per shelf and then the rest will have to be storage. Yeah. But I think four per shelf, because it all has to be higher than the tank. So that's okay. because otherwise we have to have another pump to pump it out back into the tank, which is a waste of energy. The idea is that this entire system is running off of one pump. The pump goes up to the sump. The sump goes down, back down, feeds each one of these beds. So they, the plants pull out all the gross stuff. Goes back in the water. Yeah, I think I think I think I get. <laughs> so, and hopefully everybody else does as well. Now, the drain system that we have, so it's just running over and then back down into the into the bottom. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. We do it this way just because it was easier to do. Uh, for me to build. Some people build with a with one that sticks out from the side and it drains out from the side. Yeah. But the reason I didn't do that is because I lose real estate on the on the raft by doing that because you have to cut the pipes area out. And then even though there's only a very tiny amount of uh, stuff that I would lose here, it still might hold. I mean, this can hold about 20 pounds. And though the lettuce is not going to grow to 20 pounds, losing that little bit loses a little bit. It's not going to be a big deal, but I just wanted to be careful. Yeah. Definitely. So I cut it. I did it this way. Each one of them does it that way. And uh, there, these ones are. These are each 16 gallons. So there's 16 gallons in each of these, plus 300 gallons here, plus 32 gallons there, which you can you can factor in all this amount into uh, gallons per fish, and it's two gallons per tilapia. So we've got close to 400 gallons altogether here. And so we could have about 200 fish in the system, plus as we expand we can add more, but like I said, we don't really want to get that vicious in here, especially since we would like to eventually expand and move off of a rental property and get our own property. Yeah. Cool, and then you've got like the aer aeration going on down yep. there. Yep, this is a 300 gallon aer aerator that's going to aerate this tank. Oh yeah. Then, up there is a 100 gallon aerator that aerates the water as it comes down for the plants. Oh yeah, I didn't see that up there. Yeah, the plants need oxygen too, so the aerator up there is for them, the aerator down here is for the fish. Cool. So man, this, this system is pretty cool, man. I'm, I'm excited. I do. <laughs> I'm excited as well. Great. So, well, I, I guess that's, uh, we'll end it there. I mean, there's not much else to show until we start growing stuff, but I think it's CV. I think we'll be putting something this weekend. I tested the water. It's very high in, in nitrites, and so that's what the plants need. Because we did it, we had to see we extract both our systems since we don't have fish yet to kind of make up for the lack of fish. So uh, we're going to. I think I'm just gonna after I get there's a couple of modifications I want to make to the system, uh, and so once we make those modifications, uh, I'm gonna put plants in. Although I don't know, it's been cold, so I don't want the I don't want the plants to get like frost. It's been under under freezing the last couple of days, even though it's spring. So yeah, and then also our gigantic light. Oh yeah, that thing is. I don't even know if I can. It might be too bright. Well, okay. No, there we no, go. It's good. Okay. Yeah. I can get it on the lowest setting for my iris. <laughs> But yeah, it's huge, but it's full spectrum and... In full spectrum, it's uh, 5,500 kelvins, which is about full spectrum. Between 5,500 and uh, 5,800 is full spectrum. And then uh, it's uh, 4,000, like 300 lumens. So it's, it's obviously very bright. We have four <laughs> of them, one for each bed. And we're not gonna have it hanging up there. I just did that because I wanted some light over here so I could just work, but uh, we'll try and build something so that they'll hang directly over each bed. 
Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Cool. Great. So, what about um? I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should cover. Uh, well. I guess not for now. I guess uh, we'll have more videos once we start growing stuff and uh, show you guys. Oh yeah, I mean obviously we're we're having good luck with the flood and drain, so I'm I'm sure this is gonna do really well. Yeah, I mean we got proof of concept because the NFT system works. Oh yeah, the and NFT. It's essentially yeah. the same. It's just this is a slower flow than the NFT. Yeah. Cool. So Great. Cool. So, I guess uh, we're good for now. Say bye, Jacob, and uh, bye, everybody, and uh, see you, I guess, next week or something. <laughs> yep. Bye. Bye.